whole lot of red. Cardi's first number one album sold 115k first week. What led to his success? Cardi was on his neon tour following his successful album, Die Lit. He shocked the whole crowd in Seattle playing snippets from version 1, Whole of Red. Fast forward to 2019 in April, one of Cardi's most famous leaks, Pissy Pamper, was Young Nudie, was leaked. This snippet was previewed back in March and the fans called it Kid Cudi due to Cardi referencing his name multiple times in the song. On May 17th, 2019, Cardi was featured on Tyler the Creator's hit song Earthquake and fans really started to notice Cardi's new sound, aka the baby voice. Following Earthquake, more songs were released, such as Neon, which is on the current day, Whole Lotta Red, and Molly were leaked. Both of the songs were leaked without Cardi even knowing. No shit, Cardi! How the fuck y'all niggas know that song? On July 28, 2019, Cardi on tour said that he is dropping his album in the next 60 days with absolutely no feature. Throughout the summer of 2019, several songs like Cancun have leaked, which was previewed back in the July of 2018 and is to this day one of Cardi's most popular leaks. By the end of summer, September 13th was the new rumored date for Cardi to drop. Following Cardi saying he is going to drop in the next 60 days. Of course, it did not drop due to several songs being leaked and Cardi decided to forget about the 60 day deadline. In October, Cardi was set to perform at Rolling Loud New York and tease an announcement, possibly some news on the album. Unfortunately, due to sound issues, no album news was announced, but Cardi performed Cancun, which was a huge highlight of the performance. A week later, Cardi made an Instagram post with the caption, 48 hours locked in. Fans were absolutely ready for an October 18th release date, but once again, no album. Fast forward to 2020, we went months without any news. In April, Cardi released his single, Meh, and he tweeted Monday, which really made fans think that he was dropping on the 20th of April. Later in the month, he's featured on Drake's album Dark Lane Demo Tapes on the song Pain 1993, and it became his first top 10 on the US Billboard Top 100 at the time. Plenty of months go by, and on November 23rd, in an interview with GQ, Cardi previews his new vampire look, and he announces on Instagram that his album is turned in. In the next few days, Cardi goes live on Instagram and previews snippets of songs that are on his album. He previews a Kanye snippet on Instagram and tags various artists on Twitter such as Post Malone and Pharrell. On November 27th, Cardi was featured on Lil Yachty's Flex Up which got fans hyped up for the album. On December 2nd, Cardi tweets I have a gift for you as he hints a Christmas release date for his album. The next week, DJ Academics says that his album is releasing on Christmas and that Kanye is the executive producer. On December 22nd, Cardi finally gives the official album release date and also shows us the merch and album cover for Whole of Red. And then finally on December 25th on Christmas, we finally got Whole of Red. After Whole of Red was officially released, what impact did it have on fans and how did Cardi's career look like after the album? After the album dropped, several fans hated the album and hated how it sounded. As you guys can see, fans hated, hated this album so much that Face Way on Twitter said, Just finished listening to Whole Lot of Red. Currently lost for words, man. Crying real tears, Cardi, bro. This is quite possibly, quite literally, sincerely the worst possible music I've ever heard. My ears are dripping with blood currently on my way to the emergency room on Christmas Day. I'm pretty sure fans are acting the exact opposite now, but yeah. This just goes to show people hated this album so much as soon as it dropped. It took months for fans to finally enjoy Cardi's new album. A few days ago, Cardi's whole lot of red made its way back to the top 50 on the week's billboard. Now, in my opinion, I definitely think that this album was an absolute success. After his uh, album dropped, Cardi didn't r drop anything besides a music video for Sky and a feature for Abra's Unlock It.
Also, Cardi just just finished his tour, which was an absolute success with 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 some shows even being sold out. This album and the songs on it were so good that, that Rockstar made did make it to the GTA 5 radio. In my opinion, this is definitely one of Cardi's biggest accomplishments. Like for real, imagine having one of your songs in the GTA 5 freaking radio. That's absolutely insane. To be honest, this album has made fans go absolutely crazy. If you guys haven't seen in his concert, I've I, I've honestly never seen fans this insane for Cardi than in like any other concert in in my life. This just goes to show Cardi fans are for real just built different. <laughs> Cardi fans are so insane. There was this one fan when he, where where he was on house arrest, had the ankle monitor and everything. He did not care about his house arrest, and he showed up to the Cardi concert. Hey! Oh, hell yeah! Hey! 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 Hell yeah! Overall, in my opinion, this album is an absolute success, and honestly, I'm actually pretty uh curious to see what Cardi is gonna drop next. Is it something motorcycle related or Joker face paint related? I don't know what is on Cardi's profile picture at the moment, but I guess we will see. And hopefully Cardi does drop. Um, right now it's, it's 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 Christmas Eve. It would be crazy if he drops on Christmas, but you know, knowing Cardi, that definitely won't happen. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys made it to the end, make sure to hit that subscribe button, the like, and join the Discord server down below. And yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. And yeah, guys, I'm out. Peace.